In this video, we're going to begin dividing decimals. So in the first example, we're going to divide decimals with whole number quotients. Rewrite the division statements using copies of language and word names, then represent the decimal problems using the decimal grids. So we're going to start with 12 divided by 3, so this doesn't have any decimals. And remember, we can think of this in copies language as how many copies of 3 are in 12. So we're going to draw a picture. Since it's, there are no decimals, we're not going to use decimal grids on this one. So we want to start with 12. So I will put 12 x's, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And now I want to group them into copies of 3 and see how many copies of 3 there are. So here's one copy of 3, two copies, three copies, four copies. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now we're going to look at an example that has decimals. So here we have 1.2 divided by 0 0.3, or 1 and 2 tenths divided by 3 tenths. So let's write this in copies language. How many copies of 3 tenths are in 1 and 2 tenths. So let's start by using the grid to make 1 and 2 tenths. So I'm going to use light blue to cover in the whole first one. So this is 1. And then we have two tenths more, so I'll make two orange strips. So this is our dividend. The number we're dividing is the first number, and three tenths is our divisor. So we're going to see how many copies of three tenths are in one and three tenths. So here's what I'm going to do. These three columns would be one copy of three tenths. Here's the second copy. Here's a third copy. Now we have one tenth left here and two tenths left here. So I'll put these together and we have four copies. So there's four copies of three tenths in 1.2. So notice it's the same result as the last problem. Our quotient is 4. And notice we were doing something similar. We could think of having 12 tenths. Okay, so it's 1 and 2 tenths, but we could think of it as 12 tenths. And then we group them into copies of size 3 tenths. So 12 tenths divided by... 3 tenths. And al although the size is different than the last problem, in the last one we had 12 ones and 3 ones, since the units are the same, this is equivalent to 12 divided by 3. So we're thinking of this as 1, 2, 3. Each one of them happens to be a tenth, but we're counting how many 3's are in 12. Let's look at one more example. Now we have 12 hundredths divided by 3 hundredths. Hundredths. So our copies of language is how many copies of 3 hundredths are in 12 hundredths. Okay. So notice again, 12 hundredths is one tenth and two hundredths, but we also 
use the word name 12 hundredths, and that helps you see the common unit fraction here. So let's shade in our dividend, what we're dividing, which is 12 hundredths. So there's 12 hundredths, and we want to see how many copies of 3 hundredths. So notice this is essentially we're taking 12 of something, they happen to be hundredths, and seeing how many copies of three of that same something, hundredths, are in here. So let's see, I think I'll use a red pen for this one. Here's one copy of three hundredths, two copies, three copies, and there's the fourth copy. So again, our quotient is four. <laughs> And using a common unit fraction, well, this was written in a common unit fraction, but we'll write it as division 12 hundredths divided by 4 hundredths. Oops, excuse me, we had 3 hundredths, our result was 4 hundredths. 12 hundredths divided by 3 hundredths, and our result was 4. So as long as the units are the same, okay, we can divide just the whole number of parts. So not all of our division problems are going to be this simple, but we could still use this idea of making a common unit fraction to divide.